So my name is Amy Smith. I'm the Met Director of Data. I am also the chair of the National Police Data and Analytics Board. Um, I'm, my day job responsibilities are looking after data governance, building data foundations for the Met, getting the right kind of culture in place, and then managing all of the analytics, data science and engineering projects that the organisation runs with its data. What is it about data that you enjoy? Oh my gosh, it's just so exciting. And I don't know if it's exciting because of the environment that I work in, but the possibilities with data and putting data at the heart of decision making for any organisation is absolutely critical in this day and age. But policing data is so unique. It's so special. And there's so much of it that you couldn't get in any other organisation. I think whether you're looking after it, guardianing its use, making sure that we're applying ethics to that, or actually being really innovative with science and engineering capabilities, the data itself is so unique. And that's what's exciting about it. So tell me a little bit about the data board and what they do. So the National Police Data Board, which will soon become the National Police Data and Analytics Board, which is absolutely important to join the data and then what you do with it together. It's, it's been running now for about 18 months. Its job is to try and set the frameworks and marshal 43 forces and other law enforcement agencies under similar frameworks, because essentially data is something we share as a sector. So making sure it's governed well, managed to a particular set of standards, that the quality and the data sets that matter are to a high enough standard to make good decisions. And that when we buy technology to underpin that data, we do it once and we do it well. So that's its aim. To the, the final aim and the passion for me is data is a profession, analytics is a profession, and it's been underloved for many, many years in policing, but now is the world recognised hottest market uh, and the hottest roles in that market. And we're here to build that profession and give people career pathways. Now you've released a series of data ads. What was the vision behind those ads? The vision behind those ads was to do a number of things. It was to excite people about data and enable them to have questions answered that they might think are too simple to ask in the first place. The problem at the moment is people don't really understand what we mean when we say data. They understand evidence, they understand intelligence, they understand forensics, but data is all of those things and more. So the vision of the ads was to put data an understanding of data in the hands of people and them not be afraid to use it, but also understand what they can and can't do with it and what the rationale is for what they can and can't do with it. So that when we want to do something innovative and exciting for the sector, we can do it with confidence that it's legal and ethical. So who's the audience for these adverts? The audience is everybody. Um, and that sounds a bit twee, but everybody in policing is in the unique situation that they largely create the data and use the data that they create. So you can't be in this situation where people complain about the data quality, but broadly they're the people that put it in in the first place. So understanding what you can and can't do with data, but also why its quality is important is a message everyone needs to hear and take on board. And more broadly, we need people to accept that there's a data profession, a DDAP profession out there that needs to be loved, nurtured, looked after and probably invested in. And it will help underpin and understand what they do, too. What's the vision moving forward with this? So the vision for me, and this is the world according to me, I suppose, but the vision for me would be that policing has data driven capability at the heart of all of its decision making, whether that's local, whether that's regional or whether that's national. We can no longer strive forward where we look after our people, look after the money and look after the technology. But the data that helps us understand how much we've got what people we need and whether we're investing appropriately big million pound contracts, the data is at the heart of that. And any modern policing organisation going forwards needs data at the centre to do that. So we have to invest in that capacity and capability and start thinking in that way.